it's Brittany. So today's gonna be a movie review and today I'll be reviewing Jurassic Park 3. And Jurassic Park 3 was released in theaters on July 18th, 2001. And now by the time it came out, I'm pretty sure a lot of Jurassic Park fans were looking forward to seeing it. And when they did, it depend on how they saw it because um, it did got mixed reviews. Um, it did. Now, there's a lot of Jurassic Park fans uh, where they where they really do love the movie. There's some like it, you know, think it's okay, and there's some that don't like it at all. Um, so yeah, it definitely got mixed reviews. Um, but I, I think it's, um, I mean, I like it. But I do think there's some things that could have been different. You know, things that maybe they could have changed a bit, but that's, that's just me though. Um, but it was directed by Joe Johnson. And, um, yeah, I would say, yeah, you know, this did, this did do fine. I'm sorry, I'm not quite finding my words. But yeah, this was a, a okay sequel. But um, yeah, it still has a good cast, and and um, you know this couple, they go to Dr. Grant. They now they play the part that that seems like they're this really rich. Um, you know, very wealthy couple, and so they go to him, and they need his help to find their son. Um, but by the time they get there, at some point, Dr. Grant confronts them, and turns out they're not wealthy, but they're a middle class, divorced couple looking for their son, and who's been missing for eight weeks because their son went with. Um, um, his mom's boyfriend. Um, so when that happened, you know, yeah, they went parasailing, and so things went wrong. And turns out they find Ben, but you know his um, what was left of him, and it's just you know, of course, it's just uh, it's just not good to see. So, that being said, you know, he was, in fact, um, eaten, attacked and eaten by dinosaurs on the island, and all we see is his uh, skeletal remain. And so, you know, and so of course she freaks out, and, but the, the one thing that concerns her the most is, you know, to find their son. And so... So yeah, I, and surprisingly that when, when Eric, you know, their son, when he happened to, to meet Dr. Grant, even though he didn't know it was him until um, later, but when he, when they start to talk and Dr. Grant tells him that he's been missing for eight weeks, he, he didn't know it was that long, because, you know, time flies by so fast that, you know, somehow, you know, you don't think that, somehow it may not feel that long, it may feel kind of short, or it may not feel that long because somehow it just, you know, like there was no time, like, you know, that I, I don't think there was a calendar there to keep track of the days or a clock, you know, to keep track of the minutes and hours, so... Yeah, and so, like I said, that this film it it did. I don't know. I think there are some parts of it that were good, but I think overall it it did went okay in the box office. But um, now I've I've read that it actually was a success in the box office, but there is still you know mixed reviews, not just with the critics but even with the audience.
because, like I said, there was a lot of people um, who probably were really looking forward to see this movie and maybe they had higher expectations um, for part 3 and but then again there are probably some who just you know really loved it but yeah I do think with Jaws Part 3 it does have a good story I just do think that maybe Part 3 could have had a little bit more intense um, moments of it you know kind of like with, with Jaws Park like with the first one so I do think it just needed some things to it just to add it a bit more intense and and all that you know so that's just what I think you know I do um now but believe me I'm a big Jaws Park fan I am but I would say as many times I've seen three, you know I like it. You know I excuse me, my nose is just being weird. Um, now, like I said with me, I still like it. You know I do. You know I'll still watch it. I will, but it's not my favorite though. And it's like I mentioned before, like, if there are movies that I like, that doesn't mean that I like them less. It just means even though they may not be my favorite, I'll still like really like them that I'll still be able to watch it over and over and over again. So it just means that. But for a movie that I know, um, for those movies that I probably won't see is ones that I don't like so I'm just saying so but yeah like I said I, I still think this film did somewhat um I think it did fine I, I do think so like I said with the story and where it was going and and all that so yeah I, I do think so and like I said, there are some parts that I do like. Um, but yeah, I do think maybe with a little bit more time with the story and maybe, maybe, maybe exactly to know where to go with it and, um, and all that, you know, just to take a little bit more time with it. And I think even to give certain intense parts with the movie, especially like intense dinosaur parts in the movie then yeah I think it probably would have um, probably turned out good maybe it would have been a, a I think it still would have been a success um, but I've heard there's actually there was another script like a different story to um, Dress Park 3 and how it was going to be different I have heard of that um, but I think that would have been good too. Although, do you think that one would have been more of a success as, as a George Park 3 movie? I mean, maybe, but I think we just won't know. But, you know, other than that, like I said, this, I think this is still like a good movie. Um, it, you know, it's something I will, I'll still watch, but you know and so you know of course Steven Spielberg he was still involved with the movie but not uh, not as the director but I think as a producer I believe but yeah um I want to say I, I do like uh, of course I love the cast um and I do like the performances and I like that in this one, Sam Neill comes back, and Laura Dern, and of course they come back in Jurassic World Dominion, and I actually love that one. I do. So, and of course in this one it shows how um, Dr. Grant and Ellie are not together, but you know, they still remain close friends, and Ellie is married, she, um, you know, she has a baby. And as for Grant, you know, he's not seen anyone 
and but he does go help um, you know this couple um, he does help the Kirby's to find their son and so of course you know he does end up um, meeting Eric because Eric saved him from um, flaws raptors so yeah that happened and so yeah, I I think he said at some point when they were trying to find his parents, at some point Eric hears the the ringtone to his um dad's phone, and then he asks him, well, how do you know? And so he mentioned, I think the the company that um his dad works at. And so of course when they ended up meeting together again, then all of a sudden you see the Spinosaurus. And I think what's kind of scary about that part is that um, wait, you still hear the the ring like the ring tone from the from the cell phone, except it's inside the Spinosaurus's stomach. And so by the time they you know turned around, you know, and when they turned around behind them, all of a sudden it's just standing there. It's just standing there, almost like how it is it the way it stood it's almost like it just stood there almost like how somebody would just stand there like knowing that they're gonna kill you and that is what kind of looks like and so that was kind of scary how the spinosaurus just stood there almost kind of like had that look like i'm gonna kill you you know, like you're dead meat, <laughs> and then, and then Grant he tells them to run, and then they all start running, and the Spinosaurus is just chasing them. So, and there's one thing I did not like. Like there are some things I do like about Jurassic Park three, but the one thing I do not like in Jurassic Park three is when the Spinosaurus is fighting off with um, the T-Rex but when they are fighting at some point um, yeah at some point the Spinosaurus puts its jaw right on the T-Rex neck and as the T-Rex is warring it's still like um, the jaw is still onto the T-Rex's neck and it just you know snaps its neck like that and it kills it like um I don't like that part now of course I know that T-Rex isn't Rexy because in this one is this island they're on is on a different island is I think it's the same one that um Ian Malcolm went to um in the second one so yeah, it's not Isla Nublar, it's Isla Sorna. So it's the same one from The Lost World. And I just gotta say, when I was little, and when I first saw that part, how the Spinosaurus killed the T-Rex by snapping its neck like that, my mouth dropped. I was completely shocked and I'm just like, you know, I, I, I was a loss for words, and I just remember thinking, like, what? Like, it, it killed it, like, and so I just remember feeling sad, and I remember feeling angry towards the Spinosaurus, like, how could you? Like, you killed the T-Rex like that? Like, okay, that is just brutal. That is you don't go doing that and so I think that was yeah that's something I didn't like um so yeah I just didn't quite like that because even though this was a different T-Rex I still felt sad you know I still felt like how can that happen and so I don't know to me I just thought that somehow that part could have turned out differently 
that maybe if the Spinosaurus did have its jaw on, on the T-Rex's neck, that maybe somehow the T-Rex would try to move, maybe maybe if it tried to move like this way, or if it tried, um, like if it had moved this way and maybe bumped the Spinosaurus into a tree or something, I thought that could have been good, but no, and I, I thought, oh, I'm sorry. Now, what I've actually heard is that the reason why that happened, not because that was in the script, is because I think there is something going on with the Spinosaurus, um, the animatronic, um, and somehow when that happened, it's almost like there was something going on with the animatronic of the Spinosaurus and somehow that happened. It just happened where the Spinosaurus cracked the T-Rex's neck. So that wasn't really part of the movie at all. It wasn't in the script. That's just something that happened because I think um, because there was something going on with the animatronic of the Spinosaurus. So, yeah, um, poor T-Rex. So anyway, but yeah, um, now, another thing I don't like, now, what I just mentioned, I don't like that part, because any, anything that cracks at all, especially when it comes to the neck, like, ugh, I get so uneasy, like, I, I just don't like it. It's just unnerving. But another thing I don't like about Jurassic Park 3 is the fact that, um, all the floss raptors. Now, I think the design, like their skin, was fine and I think it was a little bit colorful. You know, like with the blue, the red, and the, the, the female one, or she's like white with like little black dots on her but I didn't like the eye design only because it was like a round pupil and I'm like you know it just doesn't make them look scary it doesn't make them look intimidating you know like the first one because in the first one they have a slit like a long slit you know like a like a reptile and so in this one they don't have that they have like a small black pupil and you know it's like like, like a small black dot and so yeah I don't quite like that because when I see that I don't really feel scared by them you know it's like I don't feel that they're giving off um yeah I feel like somehow I don't just I don't feel that kind of energy from them, you know, I don't feel like, oh, they're so intimidating, which they're not. <laughs> now, <laughs> and so, yeah, I think even the, the, the way, um, they're built, I, I think it's somehow quite different from the first, because I think in the first, um, uh, in the first one was probably just a little bit more muscular but they still moved very fast and I think in this one it's not like that from the first so like I said there are some things I do like um and there's just some things that I did not quite like so like I said even though it's a movie I do like and it's something I probably would watch um whenever I want to but at the same time it's like yeah, I don't exactly love it, but like that, I think there are some things I probably would change, like the like the Spinosaurus not to crack, or most likely um, not for the Spinosaurus not to snap the T Rex's neck, and and for um, you know and to change the Velociraptor's eye design, you know, from the pupil to the slit. So I think that would have been better. You know, I do think so. Yeah, I think that would have been better, but I'm just saying, like, that's just me, though. Um, 
So now to rate Jurassic Park 3, although I kind of feel like this is, like I said, I think it's still good in some ways, but I think there's some things that could have turned out better. But that's just how I feel about it. So to rate it, I would, um, I would give it a B. Uh, I would say, uh, a 6 out of 10. I would give it, uh, maybe 60%. And uh, three stars. Now, I just want to say that um, now for those who don't like it or hate it, like now that's you. Um, I, I understand that if you do, um, I, I'm not gonna judge. And even for those who love it and who and if you love Jaws Park Three, because it's just maybe your favorite Jurassic Park movie out of well, all of them then you know um that's fine too you know like that's okay like if it's your favorite like that you know there's nothing wrong with that like there's nothing wrong with if you just love the movie for the way it is because you know I I'm like that too like there are some movies that I just completely love and are my favorite and there are some who really hate it and then I'm like what? so believe me I, I know how you feel I know how it feels when when it feels like you're the only one who loves a certain movie but then everyone starts to say how they hate it and they start saying these negative things about it then yeah it's like and you know of course you won't see it that way cause it's like well if you hate it you know don't go don't go coming to me you know, telling me about it because I love it, so don't try to bring me down by telling me you hate it. So, yeah, I know how that is. I do. And if you do love Jurassic Park 3, and it's your favorite Jurassic Park movie, then good for you. Because, <laughs> you know, there are certain movies that everyone can love, that others will hate, or it could be switched around. There could be some movies some might absolutely hate when others will just like it or completely love it. You know, love everything about it for the way it is. So, yeah, you know, that's how it is depending on the movie, depending how they like it, how they hate it, love it, you know, it, it just all depends. So, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, Will you review on Trust Park 3? And let me know on your thoughts on the third installment of the movie, of the franchise. And, um, yeah, let me know what you think of it. So, and yeah, um, and to see more movie content like this, um, um, subscribe, leave a like, and leave a comment down below on What's your favorite Jurassic Park movie? And if it's Jurassic Park 3, let me know. So that's all for today. And I'll see you at the movies.